Good morning and welcome back. I know that the weather has not been very good recently. However, it has been good for gardens and flower boxes. I was wondering, do you know the names of any flowers? Wow, you do know a lot. I'm going to describe one of my favourite flowers and I want you to guess which one it is. The first clue, its scientific name is Bellus perennis. It belongs to one of the largest families of plants, the sunflower family, and they are found everywhere on earth, including our school fields, except Antarctica. It has two flowers in one. It has a bright yellow center, which counts as one, and the white petals as another. Have you got it yet? If not, here is a picture. What is the name of this flower? How many have you seen a daisy? How many of you have daisies in your garden or in your local park? The word daisy is thought to come from an old English word that means day's eye. Why do you think that the daisy could be called day's eye? The reason for the name is that daisies close their petals in the evening and open them as dawn breaks. Daisies mark the beginning of a new day. Where in the garden do daisies tend to grow? The answer is that daisies usually grow on the lawn, just like grass. They grow very quickly. Even if we walk over daisies, they somehow bounce back. Even if we play football on daisies, they somehow bounce back. Are you surprised that this is one of my favourite flowers? After all, a daisy is small, very common and doesn't have much of a perfume. In fact, these daisies are often called weeds. Do you think that there are any other kinds of daisy? These pictures are of various kinds of daisy. There are many varieties and many of them wouldn't be out of place in a bouquet of flowers. Today, however, we're going to think about the more common daisy. Where do we find daisies? Daisies are found in many places, including in grass, in cracks in the ground and on waste sites. They are good at conquering new habitats. In fact, do you remember that I said earlier that daisies can be found everywhere on Earth except Antarctica? Have you ever looked closely at a daisy? Have you ever seen one daisy growing alone? Daisies usually grow together in clumps and can even cover whole fields. They make a lovely white and yellow display. Many people describe daisies as joyful because the flowers seem to dance around in the breeze. For me, daisies are special because of a lesson that we can learn from them. Daisies keep coming back even when they are trodden on, picked or cut down by a lawnmower. They are resilient, very resilient. Take a look at this clip called Mowing the Lawn and Regrowth.
Daisies keep bouncing back. It is as if they refuse to be defeated and are determined to keep smiling and enjoying life. This is similar to a story I am going to share. What If by Samantha Berger As you listen to the story, think about how the child is like the common daisy and showing resilience. What If Written by Samantha Berger Illustrated by Mike Corrado. With the pencil and paper, I write and draw art to create many stories that come from my heart. But what if that pencil one day disappeared? I'd fold up the paper till stories appeared. And what if that paper was no longer there? I'd chisel the table and then carve the chair. And what if there wasn't a chair here at all? I'd chip and I'd peel at the paint on the wall. And what if there wasn't a wall anymore? I might build a story from boards in the floor. Without any floor, I could still use the land and sketch out a tail in the dirt with my hand. I could still shape the leaves. I could still sculpt the snow. I could still plant the flowers and make kingdoms grow. Without any land, I would still use the light. Invent shadow stories the sun would ignite. If there was no light, I would still use my voice to sing out my stories, to chant and rejoice. I'd still have my body to twist and to bend, to dance out my stories beginning to end. If I had nothing, but still had my mind. There'd always be stories to seek and to find. I know nothing but one bit of fate. As long as I live, I will always create. As long as I live. I will always create. Throughout the story, the child has obstacles in their way, but each time they overcome them. This is sometimes like when we make a mistake in our learning. We may not want to change it, put a line through it or ask for help. But like the child in What If, we must think about what could we do to overcome this challenge. Changing something for the better is good. Putting a line through a mistake means that an adult can see how we have changed our thinking. This is good. Asking for help is good. By showing resilience, look at what the child in the story achieved by the end. 
There are many circumstances in life that challenge us and could defeat us. Perhaps we have been badly treated, have lost someone we love or have been wrongly blamed for something. Perhaps others have laughed at us. Perhaps schoolwork seems impossible or perhaps we have felt that COVID-19 is getting in the way of our enjoyment of everyday life. The daisies and the child in what if teach us an important lesson. It is not circumstances that determine our mood, but our reaction to them. The daisies and the child could simply say, oh, what's the point? I'll just lie down and give up. But they don't. Even if we mow the lawn, daisies still quickly grow back. Even if the child did not have a pencil, they still created a story. The daisies and the child always seem to bounce back. They are very resilient. At times like these, we need to develop something called resilience. And at Highbury, we know that means the ability to bounce back. Which value hero helps us with this? That's right. Determined Derby helps us to be resilient. It is important not to let problems weigh us down so much that we become unhappy and sad for long periods of time. When we feel like this, it is always best to talk to someone about the way we feel. Often, adults who care about us will be able to help in some way and show us the best way to overcome our problems and bounce back. Let's take time to reflect. We don't grow when things are easy. We grow when we face challenges. Spend a few moments thinking about these words. What things are you finding hard just now? How could you learn from the daisy and the child in what if? Daisies often grow surrounded by other daisies. In the same way, we need other people around us. If any of you are finding things difficult, there are people you can turn to who will listen. Take care, everyone. Keep being resilient. Bye.